Okay, so greetings welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to install the pi code style now in the process of installing the pi code style i observed that there is an issue now if you are to use the pimp that's the install manager the pimp install manager to install the pi code uh, style you might not be able to use it in your general uh, linux environment that's if you are using linux irrespective of the kind of linux either ubuntu or whatsoever so I, I had to come up with uh, uh, something else to help me install it in such a way I will be able to, to make use of it irrespective of where I am in my Linux, whether I'm in an environment or not. But the PIP, because due to the update, the recent PIP, whatsoever you use the PIP to install, you need to run that package in an isolated environment. That's you need to build or make an environment for it. So. Now I'm going to be showing you how to, to do that. So let's assume you are making use of Ubuntu. It can be WSL, that's Windows uh, Subsystem Linux. It could be your normal uh, Linux terminal. It could be your Vagrant. It could be, it could be anything. Or so far, it's, 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 it's an Ubuntu or a Linux. Just know that if you use this one to install your PyCode star, you might not be able to access it anywhere or anytime you want to. So let's take for instance, uh, let's say I, I have a file here. I want to create a file and then in that file, I want to print. Let me just print. Right, so good. So let's say I want to use the pie code style to check it, right? So the name is task. Now you can see what it's showing me zsh command not find pie code style. Whereas, uh, if I want to try to install it, let me let me increase. Whereas, if I try to install it, pim install bytecode style. You could see it's telling me that it's already installed. That's why I see defaulting to user installation because normal site package is not writable. So requirement already satisfied, PyCo style in this. So you can see that it's already installed, but I'm not able to access it in this my environment. So when you have, when you install your PyCo style with PIP, what I, I would advise you to do is to uninstall it. So I'm going to uninstall it now. So uninstall PyCo style. Yes. Successfully uninstalled. So now, since I've uninstalled my PyCode style, for you to install it in such a way you can access it in any or or like you don't need to like create a, a an environment for it to work. Any place in your terminal is going to work. Then you have to use this command: sudo apt install PyCode style. So you look at the command very well. Make sure you type everything properly sudo apt install pycode style so you make sure you do it this way and then you press enter so it's going to ask you for your password so i'm going to enter my password and then you allow it to install yes so it's done installing now let's try what we tried previously so now you can see that we tried it now let's change something in the file to make sure that our pycode style is really che checking what it ought to check so let me give a, a space between my print and my bracket and then let me run it one more time so you can see it's telling me that white space that's in number in my second line in my sixth uh and this thing character there's a white space so it's telling me that there's a space between it at that particular point which is not supposed to be there so if let, let me readjust it so you can see this the combine and this one two three five six so this is where the white space is so i'll remove the white space there and then let's run it so you can see that our pico star actually passed so in case you're having issues installing your pico star make sure uh 
you you do this yes and always remember that anytime you if paraventure you have installed your PyCode style already with pip you can't come and install it with this command again after installing it with your normal pip so you first have to or you first need to uninstall it using the same pip you use in installing it then once you are done uninstalling it then you come back and use this command to install it back that way you'll be able to access it anywhere on your terminal so thank you and have a good day